They do such a good job of, of setting the stakes of, they're talking about the source. They're saying, you've got this collar, you're a slave. Magistrates couldn't have done this because it was source magic and that means they wouldn't have been magistrates. So now you, now you know. Oh, okay, I get it. So the magistrates don't have that power. So it's a bit more rare. They're sort of these opposing forces. And then you can, if you want, dick around and I guess maybe you could have found that out earlier, but then you find out who it really was. And uh, it's pretty interesting, and it makes it seem really powerful for them to make their color disappear when you're trying to make it disappear and everybody else's. These Switch graphics are pretty blurry, I find. But uh, uh, it's worth it to play on the Switch, I think. It's still got the detail up close. It's nice. Hello, Mama. So if you're just joining us, we've started off, we are wearing this collar that stops us from using our source magic. There's magistrates on the ship who are dickheads, who are, they're in charge of us, but they, but there's a weird sort of autonomy where there's also this sort of like freedom, you know, where you can, uh, I know, but then I just wanted to play, you know, because it was so fun when I was dicking around with it. I thought, oh, I just want to play it now. I don't want to. I don't want to try to get back to where I was on PS4, and I want to experience it again because I wasn't remembering a lot of the stuff. So they got. So yeah, she has the collar. She can't use her source magic. All these magistrates are around. They're sort of like the Nazi officers, and they're transporting the ship of women, children, all kinds of people that seem really innocent. So it's really clear that the magistrates are dickheads. Although I'm interested to see if they find a way to make them seem like they are in the right or if they think they're in the right in a way you know oh i get it it's because if you use the source magic the void woke come out so if you use magic evil things come back a pretty a pretty common rpg trope of magic brings back the monsters i think they've i mean that's like been done in final fantasy for a long time all right Vicious Voidling. I don't think I have any sort of, uh... Do we have anything long? Bouncing shield. Throw your shield in enemy dealing. Six to seven physical damage. Alright. Can I die? I'm gonna get you. Eat it! Six damage. The battering ram. Rush forward in a straight line to a designated point hitting all enemies. Can I do that? The nice thing about these guys is they don't have any armor. You got you escaped from the prison and finding an escapee hideout? Oh nice. And then the cool thing is like when you're trying to um, escape from there. This is a 12 meter range. Let's do it. It's battering ram. <laughs> Missed! Okay. Well, now they can hit me. Not great. Poison, 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 poison. Alright, let's go around to its butt. And I want to do an old backstab. Walk through the blood and the guts and the piss and the beer. Backstab critical. The game's already pretty challenging. Like, look at that. We're almost... We could die. I think the game shows you right away that melee is kind of limited in its sense, you know what I mean? Welcome, Lightning Monkey in! Wi-Fi's been limited. It's really late. Life's good. Hope your exam's been going well. This, this, this music is so Star Wars. I feel like, um... Hmm. What can we do here? Bouncing shield again. I, oh, how about this one? Smash weapon to the ground, knocking down non allied characters in front of you. 3 4, also clears non sir, sets a knockdown. That's what we need. You wanna eat that? Yeah. I can only do one at a time. So who's gonna attack first? This guy. Eat it! Oh, it'd be nice if I could do that again. But alas. Shield can bounce. But no knockdown. Flesh sacrifice. Let's do it. Give me some more points. Oh, yeah. I guess I could heal myself. Heals for 30. 
I might be able to survive. Let's just attack this guy. Is it worth going for a backstab? Let's just attack him. No! <laughs> I wish there was an undo button for bad moves. That would be so nice. Oh, we're almost dead. Alright. Now's the time to suck down that potion. Gansu! Oh, you're so dead. You little freaks. Will this hit both of these guys? Maybe. It did! Oh, B to end, one, end your turn? How about, I, how about I run over here first? Make them come to me! Alright, great sea lighting. Little monkey, 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 monkey. Well, what I like about this kind of combat is that it's very, um, strategic, right? So there's thoughts. You know what I mean? Siflan! You've never seen the console version. It looks odd. Yeah. I would imagine that on PC it's really great because you have probably way more ability to, like, um, like hotkey stuff and, and probably just way more accessible. Leonard you know, Sloan's game, sometimes you feel like you try to get back into it, but the whole combat system feels way too complex. Yeah, that's that is originally what I struggled with too, was that it was it was complex. And I think what I ended up doing was what I kind of I was talking to Ink about it, because he's played like nine hundred hours of this game or something. What's happening January twenty sixth, Lightning? You get out of school? Hurl a fiery sphere that will explode. So we could use that on the old buggy boo. Oh yeah. This is probably the, uh, definitely the worst one, and I'm streaming it at about, like, 540p, so. Oh, your birthday! Oh, great! Got anything planned for your birthday? Anything you're looking forward to get? Slowed. So they're teaching you, right? Like, that acid over there slowed us down, there's blood that could've, um, corrected us, or not, well, it could've uh, reacted with us or combined in a different way. We got that oil there. We got some water. But Ink, Ink had some good advice, because what I was doing was I was trying to... It's oil, not acid. Uh, I know that's oil, but wasn't there acid over here? What's, what's that stuff? Whatever that green stuff is, that's what I meant. But yeah, that's oil up here. Ah, hanging at home with the family. You should tell your family you're so excited to hang out with them. They'll probably be very happy. So, yeah, Ink had the... Um, idea is like don't don't try to make your characters too good at a lot of things just kind of like pick one thing and then dump your points into it and focus on that only have about five or six skills because my problem was that i was i was spreading them all out look at this big tentacle you into tentacles i could leave but do we need to go back in and s whoa look at that set piece Specialization is better in this game. You can put the put up the fire top side if you want. This is the easiest to learn modern CRPG out there. Yeah, this is definitely like, from what I've heard and and I trust Ink, who's played a lot of these CRPGs. It's it's amazing you can just stick this right up your pooper. I have too much to carry. Well, now I walk like a very like a slow motion, a very attractive model. Should I go back down and save some of the people there? Or will they, will they wash up on shore kind of thing? Too much to carry! Young Potter! There's a move command. Don't pick it up. I know, I always find that I can do the move from here. Throw item. Sure will. The captain! Can I throw it up here? Mm. You, you can, you can, you can. No! I, oh, I see what it's doing. I'd have to walk all the way up there. Okay, action. Throw it. Just throw it. Eat that, water. Let's go save the captain. Or, if we can't save him, let's just see if he has any useful stuff. Because he's a captain, he's probably rich. And now we will be rich. And if he's dead, 
If he's dead, he's dead. Water combines with water. I mean, water combines with fire and makes steam. Steampunk? The healthiest way to serve punk. I wish you could run a little bit faster in this game. Does it feel like this version sort of slowed down a bit? Hmm. So do we need more water spells? What do you got in here? Nothing. Is there a way we can get more water in a way? Like... Water barrels... Or... Look at this big giant tentacle, oh yeah! It's all flow charts. One of the gift bag add-ons gives you permanent sprint. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, me gift bag features. Increase the base maximum action points of a hero character date. What is it at now? I don't know. Saving. Saving, saving, saving. Nine lives. Transform the black cat into a follower. Once rescued, a whistle will appear in your inventory. You can use this if your cat gets lost. If you want to change who it follows. Herb gardens. Plant your own herb garden. Take any herb and combine it with a bucket to create a seedling. Place a seedling in the ground and watch it grow. Source meditation. Restore source points whenever a player rests. That seems nice. Simply use the bedroll at any non-combat time to resurrect your dead allies. I think I'll take that. Animal empathy. Allow all player characters to talk to animals without having to spend a talent point. That might be nice. Oh yeah, there you go. Reputation and skill of your whole party help when you want to haggle for the best price. Because then you don't have to worry about switching to different, um... Like... I feel like that that just saves you from having to... Remember who the person is with the best... Conversation skill, right? Just saves you time. Combat randomizer? No thanks. I haven't played the game enough to want it to be randomized. Crafter's kit. Mm-hmm. Divine talents. Not yet. Increase the active radius of spirit vision, make it last indefinitely. Fort Joy Magic Mirror. Manifest some magic mirror in the area of Fort Joy. Respect before moving on to the next act. I mean, why not? Improved organization. Ah. Sure. Pet power. You what's this one? Each summon receives different skills depending. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't want it to be cheaty. I'm just looking for the quality of life stuff, or slightly cheaty. A mysterious vendor selling exotic and potent artifacts. Artifacts spelt with an E are very exotic. Endless runner. Toggle sprint on and off. Sprint increases your moving speed. I'll take that. Apply! Yes? This music makes me feel like I'm playing Knights of the Old Republic. Which would be cool to get back to. Loading a menu now. We're loading a menu now. So I think I might have blown my chance of um, saving or looting that captain's body. Because I used that water, battle, that water barrel like a moron. Just threw it. That was stupid. There were two. I probably just needed two, but because I was so dumb that I put both of them in my inventory that I was moving slowly. Yep, I screwed it up, didn't I, Ink? Did not everybody. Any, what's the, what's the next big game coming out? Hitman 3's out now, right? You can run through the fire if you want, but they don't usually have anything too special. Okay. You have learned a new skill. Oh, there it is. Sprint. I could use that sprint to get through the fire. Ah. Alright. Burning my feet. Burning my feet. That wasn't so bad. Improvised wand. Wand. I'll take it. What do you got? Ship's helm. Nice. The Magister Knight. He had nothing. And you, Captain Colwyn? Enemies around you use five to six air damage. And they're blinded. But it's just a scroll. A little bit of gold. He wasn't a rich captain. He was going to get paid when he got there. That'll save us. Burning block by a magic armor. Oh, I see. So you take a, just like a magic armor point, but you don't have the status. Persona 5 Strikers is out. In English. What is that? 
Persona, but um, a soccer game or a fighting game. And the near remake. Oh, nice. I'm excited for that soundtrack. Go to the rope. Children and dwarfs first, just like the old stories say. Dwarves first, eh? The dwarf yanks at one of the nearby ropes to no avail. You said there were other people down there. We we need to help them. You see those tentacles, kid? It's time for getting the hell out of here. Yes. I like how the game... I like how the game respects your time and goes, Yeah. Yeah, there's a ladder. You don't have to run all the way back. Fleet foot. This is it. Oh, it's a little bit faster. But these areas are pretty big. Oh, they're alive. Get up. Magister lies on the floor, unconscious and bleeding from a dire-looking wound. How dire? I guess so you can't loot them. I like when... Uh, so when this girl, they capture her, and they say that... Uh, and she admits to murdering one of the Magisters. And then she just gets her source collar off, and then BAM! She uh, makes them all explode in just one second. And it's a nice way of using the gameplay to... Well, I don't want to go too far down, do I? Let's see. See who's up here first. Before we go dicking around. If you can walk, get yourself up the ladder. There's a bo Wait. Void Walken. As an elf, you can eat the body part of that one person who died in the room there earlier. Oh, that's nice. Look at a nice pair to the nice county. You're gonna die, Void Hatchling. Alright, let's go with... What is ping? Oh, Laos is here! Nice. I gotta get used to these, uh, switch controls. It's one of the else racials. It's a racial! <laughs> oh, racial! My favorite from Friends, of course. Racial and Ross. Will, will she eat his body part or won't she? Bouncing shield! Eat it! I've also got a scroll. Oh yeah. These beardless bugs would sink the ship on my watch. Yeah, beast. How can they never make sci-fi CRPGs? I guess they did with Shadowrun, Dragonfall. Yeah, they're showing you all the different combinations. He's wet. And then he shocked him. Sapeel, yeah. Poison flask. So this is the big, like, almost anime-like introduction of everybody. <laughs> Normally I'd have a bow, but I'll just run over here with my feet. I love it. All gameplay as they introduce these people. Fleet fought it. And we're <laughs> Loss is on fire. Not not one of them stops and says hello. PS5 game Returnal. Ay yeah yeah yeah. Oh, bedroll, can I take that? Yeah, you want that. You picked up a bedroll. I like that there's nothing in the sacks. There shouldn't be. You know those games where you're sort of like, oh, I'm a prisoner, I've got nothing, or, or or this is the slums, and you look in the garbage can and you find so much money and valuable items everywhere? Well, everybody doesn't seem so poor now, do they? So what's Returnal? Be, it would be an anime introduction at least 10 minutes of cutscenes. Yeah, a boring introduction. Uh, I know, you don't, have an, you don't have an imagination, and... 
I don't know. I don't know what it is that you need like a lot of flashing lights. Would that be more exciting for you? If I lit up some firecrackers and and had a strobe light going on. No, it's exciting. It's exciting because it shows you in the gameplay how they play. So it's also teaching you. So you don't have to have a really boring tutorial where they force you. This is what water does with electricity. This is how you throw poison. The game just shows you way, way quicker and in a more interesting and engaging way. It's Magister Suan, the one who put on this damn color. Where's that body part I could eat? They're alive. I can't eat their body part. Maybe down in the bottom hatch. So that's what's really interesting about it is that, yeah, they teach you. And, and show you. And they have some dialogue. Exciting things that are happening. Oh, it's in the other room. This makes me want to play uh, Shadowrun again. Or to, to give Shadowrun Hong Kong another try. Chunk of flesh. Okay, can I eat this one? Eat it. As the dead man's flesh slides down your throat, you feel his consciousness enter yours. His memories are yours to experience. You are Finn. Your heart is heavy. You know too much. It's all too much. You met... you met... him. A bright light blinds you, then fades. You feel a tremendous power in your hands, but they are shaking so hard you can barely use them. Suddenly, you're on this very ship, crouched in a corner, hugging your knees. A figure approaches, an older woman. Her eyes are kind. She comes closer. She says she wants to talk. She reaches a hand toward you. You grasp it. The memories end. You are no longer Finn. You return to yourself with a jolt. Hmm. We just got the adrenaline scope. Who's making these choking noises? Oh, that's the Magister. <laughs> I like how they still identify them by their bodies. And here's Magister Waters. And there's Finn. That's how you get back upstairs. Great sound design, eh? tries to speak, but can only gape as she clutches her neck, trying to stem the bleeding of a gushing wound. With jagged movements, she raises her clenched fist and holds out a length of cloth, soaked with some kind of strong-smelling tincture. Blood quickly soaks through the cloth. Magister Siwan's mouth opens and closes, her eyes wide in terror. Hold the cloth tighter. Unravel and wrap it snugly around her neck like a tourniquet. Slit her throat. <laughs> Better to end it quickly. Tourniquet. Blood pours out from around the bandage. Magister Siwan reaches out to you, her hand flailing. It's working. Ah. The pressure is stemming the flow of blood. Siwan clutches your arm, her eyes locked with yours. That would be intense. Something within the ship snaps. The floorboards shudder. No, like they've made this so interesting. Sort of like branching paths, multiple ways to multiple ways to approach us. It doesn't just seem like here's the obvious way, here's a here's a good way, here's a bad way. It sort of becomes a game. Siwan struggles to her feet, clinging to you tightly. The ship lets out a deep groan, then cracks. Shots! So would we have died there? Doing a good deed. Honorable Dallas, 
we lost a ship sailing sorcerer prisoners to Fort Joy. We assume some escaped and broke their collars. Their vile magic lured the void with them. All who were aboard are presumed dead. Yours faithfully into eternity. High Judge Oriban. Orivan, yours into eternity. The vile, disgusting, very smelly, the very, very nasty people. These, vo these void woken, bringing sorcerers. It sounds like Final Fantasy XII. Serene! Serene, you had some interesting Instagram where it was sort of like a picture you but from a different angle and perspective or something and you said who is this is that what it was that your artistic statement final fantasy 12 was about countries having political disagreements final fantasy 12 was a fun little romp i enjoyed walking around in the world figuring out the combat i really the boss battles were really unforgettable which is a part of the combat. The combat was really fun to take out small creatures, but it just meant the um Those void woken made short bloody work of the ship. Am I the lone survivor? Am I the lone survivor? It seems someone something wanted me alive. Wanted me alive. Do you like shells? Ah, tiny head. I got a big head. I know that life. It's a funny thing. When you have a big head this is not Sabeel. It's just another elf. Oh, I'm not Sabeel. I'm a custom elf. You've discovered a waypoint. This game will not make you run around. That's a bunch of bullshit. You can fast travel when you like. Brachus Rex. I thought the Order would get rid of any trace of the old Source King. The old Source King. Very nasty man, nasty individual, the worst. The child has a small mirror in his hands. He holds it up at angles, inspecting his eyes, his chin, the crown of his head. He spots you, and his arms snap to his sides. I'm not supposed to talk to elves. Um, well, elves eat people and their pets. Elves don't know the alphabet. <laughs> Are you a sorcerer? One of those guys that brings the bad void things here. Oh, that's why Lena would like this game. You can kill children if you want. The child looks at you straight on, unafraid, searching your face. He lifts his mirror to his nose, closes one eye, and looks at himself again. I don't see any sauce on you or me. I guess they're wrong or crazy. Why are you out here alone? No one cares where I go. They know I can't leave the island. It's nicer out here than inside, anyway. <laughs> One of the axes on Lena's. Yeah, Lena's scoring system is. Cutscenes. Complexity of story. Guys with good hair. Are you able to kill children? That's the that's the four point lean out scale. The voice acting is good. They do that thing where if you want to sound like a kid, you should have try to sound a bit stuffed up. No one knows. No one cares where I go. Do your parents know where you are? They're gone now. Their majesties took them already. I guess now they're cured. And maybe they're waiting ha. for me back at home. <laughs> yeah, your parents are cured. Of life. But you didn't die. I guess I am. But it's just normal to be scared. <laughs> Nowhere isn't scary. There isn't anywhere safer. That's what I mean. You'll see. <laughs> 
I was thinking, I was just going through the games that Leon likes. It's like, um, Devil May Cry. What would he like about that? Oh, the hair. The hair in the cutscenes. Complexity of story. Kid. So I can kill this kid if I want? Attack! Source muted. Permanent. Hmm. You can stay out here with me if you want. You don't... Maybe he is not what he seems. This boy. This boy. Why is he wearing a source collar? And has no parents. And he's not scared about where his parents are. I know what you're up to, boy. There are enemies ahead. You can sneak around if you want. No, I want the experience points. Unless they're really tough enemies. Sneaking successful. What are they? Are they tough enemies? Void Woken. Void Woken. Those are the same beasts that sank our ship. Damn, they've made it to shore. I'm a silly bush, and I will kill you. All right, throw a shield at him. Eat it. Yeah. Thanks everybody for joining. By the way, everything has consequences in this game. Should I battering ram? Hmm. Oh, I can stomp this far? You. I know you. Are those things talking to us? The vicious voidlings. Why didn't it cause them knockdown? Or maybe it did, that's why I have, a, I have a turn again. I see. I'm catching up. I feel like... This is on Switch. I feel like, okay, so I picked a custom elf character because you get that flesh sacrifice, which gives you an extra AP point. But I feel like I'm selling myself out or not enjoying another one of the stories in the game, you know, like one of the characters. I might have to restart it. That I promise I, I will do off, off stream. Battering ram. Batterum. Oh, nice. Now they're all knocked down and shit. Oopsie. <laughs> yeah! Raw lumpy giblets. Oh, I, I could eat those giblets, eh? Oh. I feel like... Okay. I, think, I feel like I'm missing out on one of the main character stories, right? Like, instead of picking a custom elf character, I could have picked another one of the main characters and gotten, um... Yeah, let's go backstabby. I picked the custom elf because you get the... that flesh sacrifice, but yeah, maybe it would have been better to... to pick one of the main ones. Because I'm probably going to end up with Sibyl. Another melee elf. Because I like the melee. I like I like the idea of her story. And... You always pick a custom elf character and then just pick up the teammates. But then wouldn't I get four of the character stories instead of just three in her customness? So maybe the collars don't do it at all. Magister. Drowned and eaten by a void woken. I wonder in which order. And maybe better voice acting, because it would have been one of the main characters. Instead of this sort of like, oh, I'm a custom voice person. Or do you not really get much of the story if you're playing them as a main person? Because I remember when I was Beast, I went to that dwarf town and there's like more stuff you could have done, you know? Sir Laura. Look at this guy. He's a squirrel with a skull face mask riding... A skeletal cat. There's a lot of armor, too. I wish I could talk to it. Okay, I just didn't want to miss out on some story, right? 
like you do a lot of things in this game you know in games to sort of give you yourself the advantage but okay here's one of the main characters look at that bloody water the red prince look at that chest so proud he could be a devil may cry you spot a strange lizard gazing over the water with a steady malcontent stare his skin is of a bright blood red color could he be bleeding from the outside yes you recognize him from the ship it would seem you're not the only one who survived the tentacles of the deep <laughs> yo custom elves are so expensive to get new parts for oh my god yep it's custom job i'm gonna have to order these parts from the north pole could take uh four to six weeks you find a place in the shade looks like you're standing in the sun too long i was thinking that i thought he's not actually a red-skinned lizard he's actually a a blonde irishman who's been attacked by the sun the lizard turns about with the graceful ease of a dancer of a dancer or a duelist you lock eyes with his two smoldering embers that sizzle your very soul I suppose that's what passes for wit in your neck of the bog, I should think. <laughs> he thinks I live in a but bog. Wait. Perhaps I spoke too soon. <gasps> you I recognize you. You're, you're now. the you're the game the player. So the savior. You're the greatest person who's ever lived. Who will save the world? I was with you on that ill-fated ship, and might well not have survived had you not returned to the aid of your fellow passengers down in that. Dreadful, Dreadful hole. You have my gratitude. Hand over heart, he salutes you with a bob of the head. More than a nod, though less than a bow. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you've all the makings of a hero and all that, but let's not get carried away, shall we? Now then, if there's nothing further... What are you doing, standing on that rock? I'm sure I don't mean to sound condescending, but I had thought it quite self-evident I was gazing out over the waves. He sighs dramatically. Tell me, what do you see when you cast your glance over this ocean? A kraken-infested wasteland and everyone to go near. Childhood days in the sun. Memories. Quite so. Uh, I'll take some advice on that. I I think right now my choices for NPCs are going to be Laos because I always enjoyed her dialogue the first time I played. Sibyl because I think he's a cool melee character, super hot, and I know that's such a like teenage boy way of picking it, but you know I gotta have a little bit of that. And she seems like a cool badass. And the two elf girls up front with the melee I think would be really fun. And then I was thinking. Ifan just because he's a good archer. I don't I don't know much about his story, but archers are nice. I I actually I was Beast the first time and I didn't really dig his story. But I was really curious about the undead guy. I thought maybe he might have an interesting story. He looks out over the water once more, and so do you. A few tranquil moments pass as the waves lap against your thoughts. As for myself, when I consider this vast expanse before us, I see an empire. I see continents dotted with mighty cities. And shimmering along the soft curve of the sea's horizon, I picture the palaces that formed my paradise. Lost. That's a rather specific vision. Of course it's rather specific. Quite obviously, I'm musing over the very actual empire that I lost. I love when you ask a uh, dumb question in a game and they answer you like that was a dumb question. Suddenly, having all the air of being deeply offended, he stares at you with utter incredulity. Well, don't just stand there gawking like an ape at an abacus. <laughs> or do you really mean this game could pull it off? Don't know who I am. The nice thing about this game is that you can you can play this co-op together like split screen co-op online co-op you know couch co-op you can split off and do your own thing you can stay together it even you can it even has it so like one person could be doing the world real time and the other screen is engaged in turn-based combat that's pretty amazing he's the notorious red spence miss first still like a slap chop want to have some dialogue we can do that want to have some combat we can do it slap chop it 
I've never heard of an abacus that can tell who people are. Don't stand there gawking like an ape at an abacus. Yes. Well, more's the damn pity, isn't it? For I am the Red Prince, the All Conqueror, the World Tamer, the Spouse of the Sun. Of course you know me. There's a brief moment's pause, during which his grandiloquent pose... Grandiloquent! So that said, I suppose I must own up to the fact that I find myself rather in between all-conquering and world-taming opportunities at the moment. The grandeur that is my fate has uh, hit a bit of a snag. But never you worry. For the throne I was destined, and my throne I shall have. <laughs> you too have this and that to sort out. <laughs> I, I like reducing him trying to get his throne and his destiny. And uh, <laughs> he's saying like, yeah, I also have a few things to do. You can tag along. This and that. <laughs> tag along. Do you really mean to compare the fate of an empire to whatever foibles you seek to fix? On the other hand, I really could do with a dog's body. And you've already proven. Fine. Oh, I so accept. he likes us because we went back to for the other people. On one condition. For reasons I'll not disclose right now, it is imperative that I should meet with a dream. dream one of the mystics of my kind. I've reason to believe one of them may be present on this island. Promise me we'll look for him. And I'll extend you the blessing of my company. Promise. Jolly good. So, now that that's settled, first things first. Even if you are as versed in the art of eloquence as I am, that our swords will be doing a lot of the talking from here on out goes without saying. As a born fighter, I prefer the perfection of the blade myself. But I'm well acquainted with the secrets of magic, and yes, even subterfuge. subterfuge. What say you? Aluminium foible? Um, Ink, I said... Sure, I'd like I could hear about the best story ones, but I'll probably end up picking Ifan, Laos, and Sibyl. Although I'm wondering if Thane would be interesting. Fighter sounds perfect. Stay true to his vocation. Sure. Very well. Onwards the Red Prince nods. Now, as you're away, you'll be travelling with a prince. Proper forms of address include your majesty, your royal highness, or, or if you're feeling particularly frivolous, my lord. As your luck would have it, I seem to be fresh out of luggage, so you won't be required to carry my belongings. Of course, there are other forms of protocol to bear in mind, but I'll see to it you'll pick up the rest as we go. Reminds me of when I was working in tech support and this woman said she was a doctor and I needed to address her as doctor. And I said, no, I mean, I said, I don't, I don't know you, so I'll just call, I can call you by your last name if you like. I can call you Mrs. I can call you Miss. And I just ref totally refused to call her doctor. And then she said, uh, she was so pissed. And I said, all right, well, guess what? I also have a. I have a master's degree, so you shall call me Master. Master Falvi. You will address me as Master, good madam. But she a didn't. Black cast. Some would see this as an omen. As the an cast omen. It's a clouded and grey, but it stares at you with acute intensity. Its eyes clear, and it shakes its head, confused. I want to be able to talk to animals. Do you think it's cheating to put on that one where you can talk to the animals? That would be nice. I mean, we are all magical here, aren't we? Hey, lady. It's a lot nicer here than that stinking boat, huh? I'm sure glad you went back to save the others. Saw one of them wringing out their tunic at the shore a few hours ago. Say hi for me. That's a pretty one. Pet Pals adds a story. Yeah, maybe I'll put that one on. No, 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 no,
Oh, or pet power. This one here, animal empathy. Allow all character all characters to talk to animals without having to spend a talent point, and it changes the pet bell talent to grant maximum positive attitude. That's I think that's nice. You can talk to the animals, and it still gives you a bonus if you do want to get it. Yes. All right, what does this cat have to say? The cat's eyes are clouded and it appears confused and yet somehow compelled. Oh. Yes. It's nice to, that's like, um, oh, shoot. That's why I wasn't going to play this game right away. Didn't? Oh, no, it was Disco Elysium. Horky was talking about how they're going to add all this stuff. What will happen next? Oh, I did turn that one on. <laughs>